me do my two step. Okay, so this vlog is more about the MTB making. So I'm not going to brag kung gaano kamahal yung mga parts, but then this is awareness for some person who wanted to buy a new bike. So this time I'm going to share to you um kung magano yung nagastos ko in making the bike uh, in in making or in kung paano um during the assemble of that bicycle. So actually um Yung bike talaga is really costly lalo na this time of pandemic kasi since trending na marami nang nagbabike ngayon so yung demand rin sa mga bike shop is na tumaas yung mga prices nila unlike before. So before if you got 10,000 or 8,000 pesos you can also get a good bike. What I mean is that semi upgraded na siya but this time it's quite different. So yung labanan is libo talaga. So this time, let's start with the first receipt that I got here. So inipun ko talaga siya because I thought so, I'm. Um, sabi ko e eh, vlog ko to for that everyone can know kung gaano kamali yung bike parts this time. <laughs> so let's start here. So dito mm, tips pa pala. before buying um, bike parts, you need to consider going to different bike shops kung anong lugar niyo because um. Uh, prices may vary, okay? So, and na compare ko kasi siya. Um, I compared the different prices because before, before I assembled the bike, the bicycle, the MTB, is that I went through different um, shops dito sa Naga. And it went, um, I found out that they have different prices in every, pero the same quality. So, so, tip lang, number one, tip number one, make sure na you are going to look or mag, yung tinatawag nilang, you need to canvas first, okay? So, before buying, kasi you need to consider a lot of things. So, na-compare ko siya from different bike shops dito na they have different prices but they have the same quality or the same brand ng bike parts, okay? So, first, you need to consider that one. So, wag kayong padalos-dalos kasi... Um, yung mga bike parts is that actually medami sa Facebook group eh dun sa Bicol Mercado or Bike Mercado I guess. So there are some if you want to join there sa group na yun, there are a lot of cyclists who are posting their uh, bike parts. So actually I was um, before I we decided to buy something there yung kapatid ko but then it ended up na hindi na available yung hinahanap namin wheel set. So we just decided to buy a new one. Um, hindi buy a new one, but um, okay, let me explain that later. <laughs> so let's start here. So ito yung unang shop na binilhan namin is the the Kudao Cycle Center. So matatag po nito sa panganiban. So they also have a branch in Peña Francia, um, Francia, what I mean, sa Francia Avenue, Peña Francia Avenue. So yung binili namin dito is the hubs that cost one thousand four hundred fifty. And the hydraulic brake that costs two hundred um two thousand three hundred fifty. So if you're listening this one or watching this one, ganun po kamahal yung bike parts. So sometimes mas mahal pa siya compare sa motorcycle parts. So yun. So another one we got here sa the Kudao is that we also got the bearing. Okay, so it cost three hundred fifteen. And Dito naman, another one is that we got the tire. So, yung tire ko is that yung brand niya is the Compass. So, there are also some mm, bike brands yung Maxis, pero mas mahal kasi yun. So, kung cyclist ka, alam mo kung gano'ng kamahal yung Maxis. But then, it's really a good, uh, it has really a good quality. So, yung binila namin is um, yung Compass. It costs 750 yung isa. So, the total of that is 1,500. So the roller it costs 395 and the changer it costs 300 and the stem costs 695 pesos and also the chain that costs 250 pesos and also we also added the roller it costs 55 so let's proceed with another one we also have the 
um, famous um, bike shop here in Naga City, which is the Aventura. Okay, so dito ko pinabu yung bicycle. Since my other brother is not around, my eldest brother is just here and he is busy with his work. Um, hindi niya mabubo yung bike. So, I decided to went to Aventura, kung saan may kilala siya doon, which is si Kuya Tope, Christopher Felesis. Okay. Thank you so much, Kuya, for assembling my bicycle. So, dito naman, binili namin sa Aventura is that isang Saturn headset that cost 575 pesos, and the shifter Jaguar that cost 175 pesos, and the coal, uh, I don't know what is this, coal BC, meters it costs 110 pesos the stopper that cost 50 pesos and the it cost um yung labor niya it cost 500 so yung labor nagmahal siya kasi unang una um dalawang araw ako pumunta dun sa bike shop because yung holes ng team ko is that it is 36 holes but then yung um hub na na, um, na available yung nakita lang namin is that it it is 30, 32 holes. So, yung ginawa naman, so, allowed naman pala to change it or para ipa-align siya into making it as a 20, 32 holes. So, yung nangyari is that they aligned it and they made it some adjustment kasi 36 holes yung rim namin. So, pero sooner, late, sooner or later, maybe I'm going to replace it kasi it's not really much with that. And But then I asked them regarding that thing if it's really safe to use even though um, we just um, make some adjustment to make it as a 32 holes. Sabi nung mga professional cyclists is that it's okay. So, um, kasali na yung labor na ginawa nila. So, yan. Sa Aventura, mga friendly yung mga stuff nila. So, and also, we went also sa um, Naga Edsam Trading. For those cyclists, I know you guys know about the Edsam. So, dito, I'm not familiar with this one. Um, ito. Okay. This is not really their seat, I guess. Okay. Nandito pala sa likod, yung total. So, it's not really 800. So, one pedal, it costs 350. Saddle, 352. Um, 350 pesos, rather. And the, we have here, um, H group. What is this? Um, water cage or the battle cage. 100 pesos. And... What is this? I just can't understand the writings, but this, yung binili nila, binili ng kapatid ko sa Edsam, it cost 910 pesos. So, yeah. Ganun po yung mga prices ng bicycle. So, if you're still thinking to buy or to make an upgrade with your bicycle, pag-isipan nyo, kasi medyo costly talaga siya. <laughs> so, uh, mostly, um, pag kasi, actually, I don't really have the Actually, wala akong pakalam. Gusto ko lang magbagamit ng bike. But then, kapag you are becoming an uh, addict to a, um, parang, uh, na-addict ka na in biking, you are really into uh, making your bicycle more beautiful than you. <laughs> so, it's really true. Maganda kasi siya, lalo na pag alam mo, there's something wrong with my bike. May tumutunog siya. So, sometimes you are thinking, there's something wrong with this. So, you're going to go to a bike shop and you're gonna look for someone who can um, help you to find out what's wrong with your bicycle. Kasi unang-una, yan, isa pa yan sa ginagawa ko. Before I have a long ride, wow, kala mo dami ng long ride. <laughs> so, that is one of um main thing na kailangan mong gawin. You need to check your bike if nakakondition siya for a long ride because it's not really that good na if you're gonna ride out going somewhere and hindi ka ready. Kasi, yan, pinagsisihan namin yan. <laughs> Pero actually, nakututo na kami, yeah, with the past vlogs that I had. So, just made sure na nakakondition ka, lalo ka na. Hindi lang yung bicycle mo. So, this are, okay. So, these are all the receipts that I got in making the MTB. Okay? So, pera pa pala doon. Um, kung makikita nyo, wala doon yung frame and yung fork, yung shock na ginamit namin doon. So, yung, yung um, frame is that my father bought it doon sa nephew niya that cost 500 pesos only. So, aloy na po yun. So, since nephew niya yung pinilhan niya, it cost 500 or I guess 1,000. So, siya yung bumili noon. And also... Um, yung sa 
ano yun, yung sa fork or yung sa may shock na fork, it only cost 500 because um, yung workmate ng kapatid, workmate ng kapatid ko is that selling that um, used fork. Pero medyo sila na kasi yun kasi hindi na nalalak yung shock niya. So, ju it just cost um, 500 pesos. So, yun. So, actually, this um, MTB should not be like what I want. Because I really want to look for the road bike that really fits the height. Ko. But then, it ended up that there are a lot of bike shop that I bike shop. But then, I didn't see any bike that fit the height. Ko. So, that's the reason why I made the, or uh, we assembled the MTB. Because first, we had a spare bike frame. And sayang naman kasi hindi mo mabubuo. And nakakahinayang rin kasi siya if you're just going to stay here, yung, bike, yung frame na wala na may ginagawa. But then, nainis ako kasi after nung nabuo yung bike, mountain bike or yung MTB na, na ginagamit ni Donna, is that there are a lot of bike shop that posted regarding the road bike na 46 yung size. I really hate it. But anyway, it's okay. Maybe there's a reason why. Siguro maybe soon, we're gonna have, yeah, yung pinakamahal na road bike. Wow, Ira Lopez lang ta. No. So, yun. Maybe, kasi, um, um, sometimes I keep, um, um, teasing my brother about it. You need to give me your bicycle. Kasi ako naman, sikat na yung bicycle mo this time because of me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But then, uh, I'm planning to upgrade the, the road bike. So, yeah. So, yung mga cyclists na nunu dyan, if you have a STI, spare STI na you want to sell, and also, if you got this brake para sa road bike, just let me know. I'm willing to buy it. <laughs> so, the total of this is that, mm, okay, just wait. Let me compute. So, let's have first this one. Okay, so, you know, I already computed it, and... It cost yung lahat ng total ng lahat ng binili namin and also the frame included the frame and the fork it cost 11,120 pesos. So parang bumili ka rin ng ng sarili mong ng bagong ng brand new bike. So this is one of uh medyo akala ko kasi if if you have your own bike you will be parang mas makatipid ka but then <laughs> it end up na mas nagastuhan ka. So kap kasi kapag cyclist ka you are into upgrading and upgrading your bike parts. So, nakaka-addict talaga siya. So, yun niya. So, I'm not bragging this that I have a money or what. It's not... Actually, pinag-ipunan ko talaga siya. Hindi naman yun yung, yung hiningi ko or what na, can you give me something like that? No, it's not like that. Pinag-iipunan ko po yung mga bike parts and pinagpapaguran ko siya. <laughs> Dugot pawis. <laughs> okay. So, if you wanted to have your own bike... Maybe this is the sign that you're waiting for. <laughs> Kasi hindi naman siya, I'm not saying na, ay, mabahal-mahal pa ng bike parts. Pero if it's, you're really into biking, into cycling or what, this is really a good thing. Kasi, um, hindi naman ako nagsasabi na, unlike the other things or stuff na ginagawa mo or sports that you have, it's not good. But for me kasi, biking, it's, it's really good. Kasi nakakapunta ka sa iba-ibang parts without na, Di, hindi nagbabayad <laughs> like for example if you're planning to have a loop sa centro or san man you can go wherever you want using your bicycle kung wala kang pang gasolina you can use your bicycle <laughs> so yung maganda dito and also ang kagandahan sa world of cycling is that you have a group so maganda pala siya sa feeling pag it's a group ride it's different unlike solo ride um, nakakasad kasi mga pang sentimood kasi yung mga solar ride. Maganda siya pag group ride. And it's really good kasi you feel that you belong in a particular group. So, yan. Um, hindi naman yung sasali ka sa grupo na um, you are going to show na you are like this, like that. No, it's not about that one. But you need to be yourself and you just need to um, enjoy cycling because iba pa rin pagkasama mo yung mga taong, both of your all of you share the same um passion or both of you share this something in common it's different hello so this time we get another item Wala nyo kung ano ito. but this is a cycling stuff and this is really important so for those cycling kailangan nyo mag invest dito so uh, wala natin kung anong nasa loob dito so ito is that um, I ordered this this cost 627 so yung shop ito ito yung shop na in ko so open na natin 
um, let me see. So, ang kapal-kapal na. Ayan na! Ayan na siya, girl! So, halaan nyo kung ano to. Hmm? Frame? Hindi siya bike frame. <laughs> Di ba? Halaan nyo siya. Sinuto, sinusuot siya. Damit? Hindi. <laughs> Pun. Kausap yung sarili na. Rim. Ay, yan na. Rim, hindi. Hindi. Halaan nyo kung ano to. So, this is um, important talaga. So, ayan na siya, guys. Tira rin! <laughs> So, I get the new helmet. So, you need to invest a helmet. Kasi, yung napamanood ko kasi before na yung kay Ira Lopez, yung na-accident yung papa niya. So, kilala niyo sa Ira Lopez niya. Nanonood ako ng mga vlogs niya. So, you need to invest sa helmet. Kasi, hindi mo alam kung kaya nga ma-accident eh. So, para dun sa mga nag-bike, don't forget to wear your helmet. Before, I don't use helmet talaga. So, kung trip ko lang kung magagamit lang ka ng cup. Pero this time, I re I re I've realized na yung helmet pala is really important, lalo na pag nagbabay ka. Kahit na short ride lang, kahit loop lang yan, you need to wear your helmet. So, ayan! Oh my God! You know what? This should be color white. Pero kasi, I've realized na um, mas hindi siya match dun sa bike. So, saka, mas maganda kasi siya pag nag night ride ka, reflector yung gagamitin mo. Yung parang mas neon yung color, kasi mas safe siya. So, ayan. Let's see if maganda siya. Ito na yan. Maganda ang quality niya, ha? Not bad. Oh, yung cute, oh. Mm. Ang ganda. So, kasi, minsan kasi pag uh, nag-gumigis nag ako ng maaga, si Papa tinatabi niya yung helmet na isa kasi ayaw niyo yung, yung ibang helmet. So, Sabi ko, bibili na lang ako ng helmet na another one. So, yan. Adjust na lang yung ano. Maganda siya. So, bagay na ni dun sa salamin na binili ko rin. And also, and since naghahanap kami ni Donna, naghahanap kami ni Donna ng sakamay, ito siya. Um, Don, we, meron na tayo nito. Yes. Pahera, ma'am. So, yan. Match na siya dito. So, ayan. O, oh, diba? Mas match siya dito. Kasi yung shades talaga, minatch ko siya. Diba? Pwede na ako mag long ride. So, ayan. Naghahanap kami ni Nidona nito. Wala akong mahanap nito sa ano eh, mga physical stores. So, I've decided to order online. Ito yung sa kamay na ganito. Pag pagsmado ka. Oh, uh, ayan! Ang cute naman. But this is um, for, I guess. Yan. So, we could use this one. So, baka makita naman ito ni Papa. Baka gusto niya na naman ng ganito. So, ayan na! I got here. So, dalawing in order ko. Para, ayan. So, ayan. O, naglulong ride kami. So, ayan. Ayan para sa'yo. So, baka next time, baaw kami. Hindi namin alam. Yes. So, yes! So, ito yung ano, shop ulit. Order kayo dito. So, if you're still watching this, medyo na siya kasi guru sa mga prices ng bike parts. And this video is not about discouraging you to buy your own bike. But maybe this is a video for you to start um, or to be part of the cycling world. world. Kasi unang-una, um, the biking community is um, promoting the clean and green environment or promoting um, we are environmentalists. Wow. Hindi <laughs> environmentalists. But then, it's more about I'm saving the mother earth. And you're not going to use uh, the oil or the smokes from cars or any other type of transportation, but you are making the world better. <laughs> wow, ganun. So this time, so maybe this is the end of the vlog. So if you're still watching this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for you to get notified. And I hope to see you in my next vlogs. Bye-bye!